Yeah, a few more snowflakes later on this afternoon. Shouldn't be anything like it was yesterday, though. And this morning, we're starting out with quiet weather, cold weather, though, recovering only above freezing. This is about 10 degrees too cold for this time of year. And then with the clouds and the few snow flurries later on today that we're expecting, it's still going to feel like winter. 16 right now, waking up in Algona, 20 in Grinnell, and 24 degrees this morning in Ottumwa. The wind is pretty brisk, coming in from the northwest about 15 to 20 miles per hour, so not as extreme dream as it was yesterday, but it's enough to really add a bite to the air. We've got wind chills out there this morning. Uh, Everybody is now above zero, so that's pretty good. Fort Dodge, though, feeling like only four aims, feeling like six degrees, so bundle up with lots of layers early this morning. We're starting out with clear skies for central and eastern Iowa, but already a few clouds are rolling in from the west. Now, the snowmaker from yesterday has moved on to the east. It's now east of Chicago over near Detroit, and that's going to spread toward the east coast. We're looking upstream here across the Dakotas for our next little shot of snow. So far, it's just a little thin ribbon, but it is tracking to the south east if it holds together it will be affecting western iowa this afternoon so future cast shows by three o'clock here comes some snow showers snaking their way in across the western half of the state through 5 6 p.m they kind of inch a little closer toward the metro even stretching down toward osceola and back up through fort dodge so if you do get a snow shower this afternoon this evening it might be lowering your visibilities and making some slick spots for that evening commute right now though things are looking a lot better than this time yesterday the sky looks so pretty sunrise coming in at 6 40 this morning, 22 degrees. So don't let the pretty look fool, fool you. It's cold out there. And the wind chill is only 10 degrees because of that brisk wind. Here's your eight day forecast. Highs today struggle to get above freezing. Tomorrow still colder than it should be, but Friday looks pretty seasonal with readings in the 40s. 50 degrees for Saturday sounds great, but we're going to have some rain coming in late in the day, maybe mixing with some snow on Sunday, even though we're going to spring ahead for daylight saving time. Next week, however, it does look and like it could be feeling a little bit more like spring with readings in the 40s and 50s. And best of all, we'll get plenty of sunshine coming on in here. And it does not look like it will snow next week.